Tate McRae has been making a lot of buzz, certainly the most of her career thus far. For those not familiar with Tate, she began her work as a dancer at the age of 6, eventually appearing on Justin Bieber's Purpose Tour, as well as So You Think You Can Dance. It wasn't until 2017 that she set out to launch a music career, experiencing viral success after uploading original songs she wrote to YouTube. The numbers she wrote in from her series became too apparent to not take notice, and she eventually landed a record deal with RCA Records. In 2020, she landed her breakout hit with the Billie Eilish-styled breakup ballad, You Broke Me First. While her debut album, I Used to Think I Could Fly, saw her going in a direction more adjacent to her bestie, Olivia Rodrigo, on some tracks. But at its core, it's an album with sad girl aesthetics. Tate recently broke new ground for a career with a Timbaland-style 2000s dance R&B banger, Greedy. It's been likened to the work of Nelly Furtado, and has broken numerous streaming records, ultimately shaping up to be her biggest hit yet. And with the absence of other pop girls like Ariana Grande, there's clearly a void of casual bops to be filled, and this serves as the perfect ascension for someone like Tate. What separates Tate from a lot of her peers though is that she's a dancer, and a pretty entertaining one. That harkens back to the routines of performers like Aaliyah, Britney Spears, and Christina Aguilera, with Tate's most recent music video for her song Exes taking very direct inspiration for Christina Aguilera's Dirty, and doing a pretty good job at it as well. Tate recently made her SNL debut and showed that she has a lot of presence, and it hit the headlines that RCA Records is allegedly banking on Tate McRae to be the next big pop star. And is that possible? Of course. Will it happen? Only time will tell. But what can be said is Tate and her team are leaving no boxes unchecked. She's everywhere, promoting, dancing, or releasing a new song. Personally, I think Greedy is a genuinely good pop song and her best single, with a super catchy hook. I also think this type of music aligns more with her dancing background and showmanship. And I wouldn't mind seeing her go in a full 2000s Nelly Furtado and Timbaland-esque direction for a full project. Anyway, Tate McRae is the new pop girl on the blog, and she seems to have bigger things headed for her. Let me know where your initial thoughts on Tate McRae are in the comments down below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.